meditation today um, is going to be on Hastamalika Stotram. For those of you who are uh, getting the broadcast, daily broadcast, you will realize that this one full uh, this this week we had this mantra. <coughs> Hastamalika is one of the direct disciples of Shankaracharya. And Shankaracharya asked him, who are you? And then Hastamalika didn't say that I am so-and-so from so-and-so city and I am, this is my name and all that. He introduced himself as Atma, Atma Surupa. So this Hastamalika Stotra, which is which has got five slokas only, I'm going to take verse three, four, and five. Today I'm going to uh, take up third, next week fourth, and the following week fifth. In all these slokas, the last line is repeated. And what is the last line? Nityopalabdi Swarupam Aham Atma Asmi. I am of the nature of ever-existing Atma. Nityopalabda Sarupam Haham Asmi. Very important to understand this portion. The other portion, what does it say? This Atma is the cause. For all the activities of the of the mind and the sense organs, that is the that is the first point. The second point is, it is without atma is like space, without any accessories in it. And the third point is. This Atma is the cause of the, all the activities of the sense organs. See, in one verse, so much of information about Atma you get. Number one, it is ever existing. Nityopalabdi Swarupam. Always there, eternal. Therefore, if I am Atma, I am immortal. Now, this is the type of verse you should choose for Vedantic meditation. And you should say, I am of this nature. Okay? Let us try to see how, with this type of verses, how we can do meditation. Please close your eyes. <clears throat> Sit erect. Vedantic meditation deals with emphasizing our real nature. There are two aspects to this meditation. One is to say what I am not. I am not anatma, body and mind.
repeat in your mind two or three times. I am not the body or the mind. The second part of Vedantic meditation is to assert my real nature as taught in the Veda. I am like space, all pervading. I am not restricted only to this body. I am up, I am down, I am on the left side, I am on the right side, far, far away. There are no boundaries in my real nature. I have no limitation space-wise. I am Atma. Ever existent. Nitya. Nitya means I have no time wise limitation. I am like space, all pervading. I am a timeless principle, not affected by time. I don't have decay or death. Assert this firmly in your own mind. I am immortal. The body is mortal. Atma is immortal. Mind is mortal, changing. Atma is changeless, immortal. Body is limited in space. 
atma is limitless I can exist independently without the body and mind as pure Chaitanya. This is my nature, when I am sleeping, the witness consciousness is always awake. Nityo Upalabdi Swarupa. This light always is glowing like the sunlight. There is no darkness in the sun. There is no ignorance in the self. I am Atma. Pure consciousness. In this screen of consciousness, all the three states come and go. I don't change. I am always Atma. There is no sorrow in Atma. There are no thoughts in Atma. I illumine all the thoughts of all the minds. Hence, I am called Brahman. This Sakshi in the body is Brahman in its real nature. The substratum for the entire universe
which is born when the mind is awake. When the mind goes to unmanifest, the world goes to unmanifest condition. I am always the same. Oh 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 Purnasya Purnamathaya Purnameva Vasishade Om Shanti 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 When I meditate like this, these thoughts go into my subconscious mind. And then it can abide as my nature. <laughs> Please open your eyes. <laughs> 